YouTube and today I'll be profiling for you my Astro Phoenix deck profile. Um, this is going to be showcased in our uh, upcoming Chaz Princeton versus Astro Phoenix deck uh, duel uh, full on match and this is what I ran so you can know what I have in my deck going into it. We have a specific set of rules that we do when we make character decks so you're not going to see the optimal amount of uh, of each one of these cars in here, but this is what they played as each of the characters. Uh, you'll, if you go into any of our other character du duels, you'll realize what our conditions are. Then I'll put down in the description what our conditions are for each of the profile. Anyway, let's hop into it. Star after one, a Dogma, a Plasma, and Dreadmaster for our higher star monsters. Um, he he did run each one of these, and I wasn't certain whether or not I should run Dreadmaster. But these uh, Plasma and Dogma aren't actually too difficult to get out. There's a lot of ways you can special summon with this deck. Plus, they're fantastic, of course, with Destiny and Dragoon. Um, so it's nice. And they, each one of them are standalone by themselves pretty decent in their own right. Moving on, he only ran two Malicious. Of course, I'd run three if I could, but two, turn, to, turn, two ended up doing pretty well for me in the duel. Uh, one Destiny Hero Dasher. And one Destiny Hero Dynatag to run up a higher level monsters. Dynatag is more of a hand trap anyway. And uh, Dasher has a nice little graveyard effect. Plus he's a decent beater because there's a lot of low attack monsters in this deck. So you need something with a little bit more oomph. Next we have two Drill Dark because he used two in Arc V era. One Celestial, fantastic card for any Destiny Hero deck if you're looking to actually build a Destiny Hero deck. Diamond Dude, also fantastic. Decider, pretty litten. Uh, one Fearmonger, Defender, Doom Lord. Underrated card, in my opinion. Fantastic. Uh, one Disc Commander, because we're allowed to use banned cards in this format. Uh, one Dark Angel, Dreamer, Blade Master, Captain Tenacious, and Dread Servant to round up our monster build. Um, he used a bit more, and these are just the ones I found to be optimal in this 44-card uh, brick. Um, they actually didn't turn out to be as bad as I thought. The biggest conundrum that you'll see is that they don't have very high attack for the most part. Um, a lot of them have hand or graveyard effects, and that's really where this deck kind of shines, is it's in graveyard and hand effects. Moving on to our spells and traps. We have uh, Clock Tower Prison, Dark City, and Mausoleum of the Emperor uh, <coughs> for our field spell lineup. Sometimes you just need a little bit of extra oomph with the Mausoleum, and Dark City and Clock Tower Prison have their own fantastic synergy with this kind of a deck. And to search them out, he did run a terraforming, so that's kind of interesting, so we threw that in there. With our Destiny Hero specific cards, we ran a Cyclone ba Blade, uh, Destiny Draw, he ran one, of course it's one of the best Destiny Hero cards there is, uh, one Over Destiny, and one D-Spirit. As for everything else, we run a Mystical Space Typhoon, Monster Gate, Mega This Band Grateful Charity, uh, Pot of Greed, Magical Stone Excavation, Fusion Sage, and he ran two Polymerizations, so of course I ran both of them. Uh, moving on to our traps, we have a D-Counter, fantastic cards, a Sakuretsu armor specific for D-Heroes. Uh, Destiny Signal, great for consistency. D-Fortune, Destiny Mirage, D-Shield, D-Fusion. You know, there's actually two cards called D-Fusion, just or pronounced D-Fusion, it's pretty cool. And a Draining Shield to round it up. And he only ran uh, three cards in his extra deck that we saw. Uh, S Destiny and Dragoon, fantastic. Um, there's entire decks that are built around this, this one card. Uh, Dystopia, probably the easiest one to go for. And uh, Dustopia, a pretty great. That's going to wrap up my Aster Phoenix deck profile. Um, 44 card deck. There's just a lot of fun stuff you can do with here. And character duels are supposed to be fun. Um, if you have any other ideas for character decks, let me know down in the description. And uh, thanks. Have a great day.